Hi right, guys, Darth Deuces here, it's another action figure review, and I'm going to be taking a look at that Marvel Legends figure. Um, I don't take do too many Marvel Legends reviews, and I'm probably not going to do a whole lot more of them, because I just don't do very well view-wise. Uh, but I wanted to talk about this figure. It came out a few months ago now, so it's nothing new, uh, per se, but it is the infamous Iron Man figure. I just want to talk about it, because uh, I really like this figure. Um, it's just basically a repaint with some new pieces and an uh, articulation with accessories, um, but I really like it. Um, it is, if you're not familiar with the character, uh, for a time, Doctor Doom takes the mantle of Iron Man, and he becomes the infamous Iron Man, and while you'd think that storyline might be a bit uh, corny, a bit gimmicky, it was actually a really good run. It wasn't very long, but it was actually a really cool run. Doctor Doom being Iron Man and being a hero was actually really cool, because he's sort of a more lethal sort of Iron Man. Um, and the suit is really cool. Now this is a, mainly a repaint of the uh, Invincible Iron Man from the Black Panther Wave 1 in like the beginning of 2018, I think. Uh, I don't have that figure with me to do a comparison on, but they use the same body mold. Of course, this one has a cape and hood attached to the head, but aside from that, it's a straight-up repaint. I'm just going to take that effect part off there. And take a look at him. As you can see, it's basically just the Iron Man armor in a Doctor Doom uh, color scheme. But I really do like this look. They kind of printed these lines kind of make it look sort of like the Doom helmet or mask. But at the same time, look like Iron Man. And I love the green and the different colors. you got a darker silver or a darker met metallic gray. Then you've got this nice silver for the faceplate and other parts of the armor, which I think looks fantastic. You get the green here. These aren't molded. These are just printed on, but they're print printed on pretty cleanly and looks really cool. And I really like the look of the hood and the cloak. They're molded really nicely. I really like how they look. It gives the uh, the figure that infamous look that it should have, which is really cool. Um, unfortunately, the hood is not removable from the helmet. I kind of wish it was, um, but at the same time, it probably wouldn't stay on very well without it, but uh, yeah, I kind of wish that was removable because there are times in the comic where Doom just used the armor and didn't have the cloak on. Uh, the cape is removable. It doesn't peg in at all. It literally just rests on the shoulders. But if you have the helmeted head on with the hood, the hood kind of helps keep the cape in place so it doesn't just fall off. But it will fall if you're fooling around with it enough, but we're going to keep it off for now. It does look a little weird like this, but whatever. But you can just see the rest of the armor. It's got dark green highlights with the green repulsor looking spots looks really good just looks really cool um, it's a really cool repaint of a really cool version of a character I am pumped for that new classic Doctor Doom that's coming out but this one's also really really cool um, in terms of articulation you know he has all the articulation you really expect you can move the head up a decent amount it is hindered a little bit by the hood but it's not too bad down a lot rotation not really much pivot. Hinges at the shoulders, rotation, double hinges, which move pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, they move pretty good. And you got swivel and hinges at the wrists. Ab crunch. Rotation. Hips move out a decent amount. Kick forward. Thigh cut. Double hinge at the knee. And hinges at the ankle move up quite a bit, which is not really nice. Down quite a bit and pivot. So really good articulation. Like I s said, this is a repaint of that Invincible Iron Man figure, and that Invincible Iron Man figure was really good. So um, it's no surprise that this figure is also pretty solid. In terms of accessories, comes with quite a few accessories. Of course, like you got the cape. It does have an alternate head. Pop the head off, and we can throw on his unmasked Victor Von Doom head. And while he was the infamous Iron Man. His face wasn't all beat up and ruined, which is pretty cool. That's actually pretty hard to put on. I don't remember it being that hard. It's quite tight. I haven't put it on in a while, so maybe that has something to do with it. But yeah, it's pretty tight. But once you get it on, it's on. And I think the head looks really good. Definitely looks like Von Doom from the infamous Iron Man run. So I really like that. Unfortunately, you can't have the hood on with this head because it's stuck to the helmeted head. Um, but you can put the cloak back on if you want. It's not going to stay on very... I mean, if you just have them stand there, it will stay on, but you can't really fool around. They'll just fall right off. Does have his two closed fists. 
you also get a pair of open repulsor blast hands. Again, it's kind of tight, but that plug that in. They don't they swivel, but they don't hinge up and down. But you do have that. Of course, you do get two of these really nice translucent pinkish purplish repulsor effects. So you can plug them in his hands if you want, like so. Take the other one. You can put them in his feet if you want as well. So you can do a couple different things with those. That's really cool. And then lastly, as you saw earlier, you get two of these uh, electricity lightning energy effects in that same pinkish purplish, which is really cool because if you're familiar with Dr. Doom at all or Von Doom, he is also a sorcerer. So I definitely believe this is supposed to sort of replicate him using his sorcery. So, you know, you can wrap it around the arms, wrap it around the legs, do what you want with it. You get two of them, so you definitely get a lot of options for display here. But overall, this is a really cool figure. It's not an essential buy, by any means. Um, if you're not familiar or a fan of, well, Von Doom for some reason, or you just don't really care much for the infamous Iron Man storyline and design, then it's definitely a pass. But if you're an Iron Man, I think an Iron Man or Von Doom fan, and definitely if you're a fan of the comic series like I was, 100% recommend picking this one up. This one is really cool. It's an exclusive, hmm, in Canada it's an exclusive to EB Games, that's where you can get it. I think it's a Walgreens exclusive down in the States, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next video.